Mr. Holster here, back with another Top 5, and I hesitated to do this one, and Jack really just insisted that I do this. And as a sidebar, all of the images you will see in this video today are out of Jack's personal collection. Today we'll be looking at the movies of Raquel Welsh. Number 5. My number five pick is from the movie 100 Rifles, starring Burt Reynolds, Jim Brown, and Raquel Welsh. And in this movie, she uses a couple firearms, one being a Winchester 97, but the one she uses really well and predominantly in the movie is the classic Western movie lever-action gun, a Winchester 18. 92. Yeah, the Winchester 1892. The Winchester 1892. Did I use up enough time, Jack? You're going to get all the... No. The Winchester 1892. She uses it incredibly well in this movie. Is that right? Okay. Number four. My number four pick is an underwhelming film made in 1972 called Fuzz, in which she plays a Boston police detective. This movie starred Raquel Welsh, Burt Reynolds, and Tom Skerritt with the evil bad guy played by Yul Brenner. In this movie, the Boston police appeared to be bumbling idiots, and I'm surprised the Boston Police Department didn't sue them by the time this movie was done. <laughs> but in this movie, she carries, I think this is, a Smith & Wesson J-frame, and there's a couple guns here, this being one of them that I'm not quite sure. At. It's hard to tell from the photographs if it's a Smith & Wesson J-Frame or a Colt Detectives model, but I'm calling it as a Smith & Wesson J-Frame model 3638, as in 38 Special. But but if I'm wrong, chime in down below. It, it's really hard for it's hard enough for Mr. Holster to see as it is, much less than these bad photographs. Not 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 to mention it's hard to look at the gun here. <laughs> Number three is from the Action Spy Adventure. Fathom, 1967, with James Francisco and Raquel Welch. And in this movie, she escapes the bad guy in the end of the movie by disarming him and using their firearms. And, and this is another one I'm not too sure if I have the right firearm, but I think that's a Savage 1907 32 ACP. Correct me if I'm wrong. Take a look at the photographs. Not Nope, not that one. Yeah, it's in there, Jack, but that's not what that. There we go. Back to the gun. If you if you think I'm not right there, just just let me know down below in the comments section. Number two, my number two choice is Bandolero, with Jimmy Stewart, Dean Martin, and Raquel Welsh. And in this movie, she uses Dean Martin's Remington 1858 New Army factory conversion and we talked about this the other day if you look at the gun carefully it's really it's really not a uh, Remington at all it's a Colt single action army that's been modified to look like a Remington 1858 new army there you go now my my number one pick yeah and this is a good one because this is a very unique gun and lots of good images of the firearm too this we can clearly tell what it is, and I want you to carefully look at the images to make sure I'm right, though. This movie is called Hanny Calder. Yeah, Hanny Calder. And in this movie, she uses a Tronter self-cocking revolver. I think I have that name right. Tronter. This apparently was one of the early double-action revolvers initially made that took two triggers, one to cock it and one to release the trigger, and then further development made it operate. It was operating like a regular double action, basically, at that point. Very interesting early cap and ball revolver. 
and I just thought you might want to see it. I'm not all that knowledgeable about the revolver, but I sure like looking at it, don't you? And I'm going to give an honorable mention here to a movie I've never heard of before called Stunt Woman La Animal. <laughs> I think this is a French film, or, or I don't know why they called it that. It was made in 1977, and in this movie, she she wields, in part of the movie where she's playing a stunt woman, hence the name, she wields a Thompson submachine gun. Well, there you go, guys. There's my my top five picks for Raquel Welch. And thanks, thank you, Jack, for supplying the images. And yes, Jack, I, I kept my fingers off, and there's no fingerprints on them. And yes, yes, Jack, I did not crease them, and I'll put them all back where they came from. Thanks for tuning in, guys. If you like my channel, please subscribe. Till next time, from Mr. Holster... And Jack, go out and stay safe. Before I leave you, though, I'll leave you with one final picture of Raquel Welch. And all I can say is... Rrr.